What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. Hope y'all having a great day today. So today we are back with a very special video because it's the start of my new LP, The Sims 4 Runaway, not Runaway, geez, The Sims 4 Big Sister Challenge, which I'm so excited to do. Uh, so excited to do. But first, before I start off, I got two things. One, a disclaimer. For everyone who's watching and wondering where the heck is the real world, don't worry guys, the real world is coming. I was told, not was told, but what I've read from um, news sites and websites is that The Sims 4 will become, will, might be coming out with something like a new, ex like a new, ex not expansion, but a new stuff pack or a new pack or so in the near future. So I wanted to post, po push or push my date of releasing that LP back just until that pack comes up because it's more content and that means there could be more activities to do in that LP because right now there can... I can only do so much with it so i don't want to start it i want to wait until that pack comes out and see if anything good happens so just a few more weeks wait until i see what happens and it will be coming so don't worry all your sims that you guys have uploaded i will be using them i actually used a few of them in this lp too so don't worry you guys those sims will be used one way or another and i thank you guys so much for posting those so thank you again and second disclaimer is for everyone who doesn't know me I, I gotta give a little introduction, right? I gotta, it's the first part of a new LP. I gotta tell you guys who I am. So anyways, guys, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Machiavelli on YouTube, but I go by Malik. Well, my real name is Malik. Or you can also call me Mac if you want to. It's up to you. I'm a YouTuber, I guess you could say so. Hmm, who knows? Um, I love potato chips. Mm -hmm. We are like BFFs. Me and potato chips, like, <laughs> me, and my, <laughs> me and potato chips are like <laughs> everything. So yeah, uh... <laughs> I'm a fun, cool dude, and I like to play The Sims. Mm -hmm. Any anything else that I need to talk about? Oh, I'm weird. Okay, no, I'm not weird. Okay, this is the thing. I'm a very, <laughs> I, I love, I'm gonna say I love to be funny. I'm very, you could say extra. Well, not extra, like bad extra. It's just, I like to emphasize, I don't even know. You you'll, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see as I go on. That's, you'll see who I am uh, <laughs> as I play the game. So anyways, guys, welcome to my channel. Hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all excited for this. And let's get straight into it. So if you guys want to know the rules, everything, they're down below. But let me just state, I will not be following every single rule in there because if you guys don't know this, I am, uh, I am a story-based simmer. I love to like play my <laughs> my LPs with stories. There's a story behind this um, LP too. So some of the rules do not mix well with the story. So I have to like shift it a little bit, but it's still going to be good. It's still going to be fine. It's nothing like really big to make it be, like a whole different challenge. It's still going to be the same thing. It's just going to be like a little bit harder for on my hand to maintain, which you guys are going to see in a little bit when I talk about the rules, what I've changed and all that. <laughs> and so let me actually get into the backstories and the characters. Right now you are looking at the beautiful Ash Walter, Walter, what her, what the heck's her name? I forgot. <laughs> Ashley, what did I name her? <laughs> Ashley Walters, and then over here is Kaya Humphman. If you guys actually, if anyone uploaded a uh, sim in the gallery named last name Huffman, this is their child right now. So yeah, I mixed them with another sim from there. So I did, I do use, I do use your guys, use your guys' sims to create this. But this sim was actually created last year. I just had her sitting there. So it's like, I really want to use her. So I'm like, why not? <laughs> so I'm using her right now. <laughs> hey. So anyways, this is Ashley Walters. And she has had, I would say the start of her childhood was very good. But then coming up to her teenage years, it just went downhill for her. So pretty much she grew up in a very normal household, a very, I don't say wealthy, but middle class household. It was just her, her mother, and her father. She was as happy as can be. She was a very happy kid. And if you guys are wondering, I need to tell you this right now <laughs> before I start the story. Um, they are not related, these two. Like, they have a bond that's like brother and sister. But it's, 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 they're not actually blood related. And you're going to see why in a little bit, why they are even together. You're going to understand it in a little bit. But anyways, let's get on with the story now. So, like I said before, she had a good upbringing with her mother and her father. Um, and then when she turned 13, sadly, her father passed away. Mm -hmm, it's sad. Her father did pass away when she was 13. And it really did hurt her mom a lot. It hurt her mom a lot. Like, the first two years were fine with her mom. Her mom got her act together. Her mom was being strong. Her mom got to work. Her mom pretty much picked up the slack that the father left. Well, didn't left, but I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. But 
on her 15th, like midway through her 15th, like her being 15, her mom cracked and took and got under the pressure and everything was too much for her mom and her mom broke down. And so Crystal, not Crystal, Jesus, <laughs> Ashley, by the age of 15, had to actually start growing up and being come, starting to become an adult. She had to start taking some of the responsibilities that her mother did and took it upon herself to do. So she did actually have to start growing up. She actually started growing up at the age of 15, which just sucks, but it's just what she had to do. She had to help and take care of her mom because her mom needed help. But then her mom one day met this really awful dude. When I say awful dude, I mean really awful dude and got into a relationship with him and he was very abusive. He was very angry. He was always in a bad mood. He treated his mom like, she, she he treated her mom like the S word. It was bad. It was a bad relationship. But one day, Miss Ashley over here just couldn't take it anymore. She just couldn't take her mom getting abused this much and she hated it. So she fought back. She fought him back, which caused him to fight her back. And it caused him for it was caused the police to come and all this act and all this craziness happened. And actually when the police come, when the police came and what happened was it was like a whole fight and he starts to bleed because she like broke a bottle over his head and it was the whole fight. And when the cops came and... <laughs> What's it called again? When the cops came and the mom was told what happened, the mom took the father's, took her boyfriend's side and pretty much said that uh, Ashley did everything herself, that Ashley was the cause of the whole fight, that Ashley caused everything, and that Ashley's pretty much been the downfall of her life, the downfall of her life, and pretty much the worst part of her life. And that really hurt Ashley. And what happened after that was Ashley went into foster care. So if you hear my mom, she's there watching a movie downstairs. <laughs> can't do anything about that right now but i'm going to continue with the story so anyways so after that ashley went into foster care and that didn't work out for her she was she had a lot of built-up anger for her mom after that knowing that the woman that she loved trust turned her back on her when she needed her the most it really hurt her and so foster care ended up in work she always ran away and so since no one else wants to foster her they put her into an orphanage and she is now 16 years old living well, used to live in an orphanage until like yesterday. And that's where she met Kai. Kai over there. <laughs> My little boy Kai. And I'm going to get back into her. I'm going back to her traits and why she is the way she is in just a second. But let's move on to Kai's story and tell you guys how they sort of connect. This is Kai, my little boy over here. Love him. <laughs> oh, Kai. So this is Kai over here. Kai pretty much, we actually don't even know about Kai, to be completely honest. Kai is a very mystery, is a mystery. His past is a mystery before he got to the orphanage has been all, no one really knows. Cause what happened was one day he just came into the orphanage and people say, hey guys, this is your new brother for say, um, take care of him. And they're like, what's his backstory? What is, what's, what's going on with him? And they just know, they don't know. They just found him, yes, him, a boy <laughs> in the middle of a street one day. And the cops called, the cops called the orphanage because they just couldn't find his mother. They couldn't find, they don't know about anything about him. They tried looking for his parents. They tried um, going through his memories to see what he remembered. He remembered nothing, nothing of his past. And so they had nothing, they had nothing else that they could do. So they had to send him to the orphanage. So they called the orphanage and told them that they had this boy that has no memory of his past, no memory of how he even got to because they found them at a park bench, just sitting there at a park bench for hours until they called the cops saying that this kid has been here for the last few like few hours and he hasn't moved. And so they called, so they came and they got him. And they, of course, he didn't know about his past, so he didn't tell the police anything. He was a very shy kid. And so the orphanage came and got him and took him there until they, the police could figure out where he came from, quote unquote, because no one knows. <laughs> Not even he knows. He has no memory of it. So he came that day and he was actually bullied because everyone was like, like a new kid, like, oh, where'd you come from? What's your story? Um, what's your life like? Why are you here? And he just didn't talk. He didn't say anything. He was, I won't say he was blank. He just had no answer. He didn't know what to do. So as you guys can see, his eyebrows are off. I'll explain the dying. Like he died of terror anyways. That happened. So let's talk about that in a second. So, uh, so he died. His, no. So they bullied him. And when he was bullied, uh, <laughs> Ashley over here, caught it and saw that he was getting picked on and that he was getting troubled and that people were being mean to him and so she stepped in she stepped in to defend him she doesn't like when people get picked on and that's and pretty much seeing him get picked on brought her back to the moment when her quote-unquote stepfather now because they got married uh, was abusing her mom and abusing 
her and they couldn't do anything about it and she wanted to be able to be someone's shining armor that she couldn't be to her mother because it was too late for her mother to be saved (laughs) she was already long gone and not her mother by the time that she tried to save her mom and so since she saw that going on she really wanted to help them so she stepped in and from ever since then they have always had this bond she has always been the big sister to him and she he has always been the little brother that she's always wanted you could say always wanted someone to play with growing up and someone to take care of and someone to call a sibling and that was this is that's the relationship and how they pretty much got coinc- coerced with each other and are connected and how they ended up in this forest i can say a jungle living in this plot of land broke as you know what as heck is because our girl over here was i'm saying she wasn't that popular because she never really hung out with anyone at the orphanage she pretty much kept to herself people thought that she thought since she would keep to herself that she was like the cool girl and she could like you know when people are like by themselves they people always think that oh they're too cool for school or they're too cool to hang out with us that's what people thought she was like and so one day these girls came to pick on her (laughs) and said oh you're too cool to hang out with everyone else and they just started like picking on her and she didn't take it like (laughs) she will like beat you up if she has to she's not afraid to throw a fist she's not afraid to to knock out you out she's not she's not afraid to knock you out not afraid to call you out not afraid to argue with you like you don't like her she doesn't like you it's that's how it is she's not afraid like (laughs) get at her so pretty much they came and they tried to cause a fight and it really wasn't her fault and what happened was they went to go punch her and she of course she blocked it and knocked that person out she literally knocked that girl out and the anger in her just built up from everything and just started beating on her started literally beating on the girl and when the girl told the person in charge of the orphanage they called the cops on her and told her that she will be taken to juvie for her actions. And she knew that she can go to juvie. She knew that once she went to juvie, that her life would pretty much be over and that she wouldn't be able to do anything outside of that. So she decided that, you know what? I'm not going to juvie. So she had to run away. She decided that it was time to get away from this hell. It's time for her to be herself. Because that's the only way she's not going to juvie is if she runs, if she runs away. So now, before she ran away, that's my mom that's my mom anyway so but now before she ran away she went into kai's room and told kai yo i'm leaving not yo but hey i'm leaving do you want to come with me or not like i can't protect you anymore it's like up to you i have to go now either you can come with me or you can stay i'm not gonna force you to come but i can't i can't force myself to stay and he's like okay i'm coming and so now that's what they ended up here. They caught in a boat. She she saved up a bit of money from doing her from her hustling because you know she got a hustle because <laughs> she's still in high school and she couldn't get a job. Uh, so she had a little money from her hustling and she was able to buy this cheap pot of land with every single piece of simoleons or every single simoleon she has and was able to get a boat ride over here and was able to buy this remote piece of land and now she's that's where they are right now this is where they are at in this whole mess of situation they're pretty much trying to live off the land because they can't go back to the city right now they have to stay remote so i'm saying that he can go to school still of course he can still go to school and all that and if you guys want to read the rules of course i said before it'll be in the description down below so go check it out if you want to read the rules I'm not going to stay right now because I got a lot more stuff I got to talk about first. I got to introduce the Sims, of course. (laughs) So let's actually do that right now. So that's the whole story behind it. That's a story about how they got into the situation. That's a story about how that's the story on how... Okay, I was gonna say that's the story about what their traits are like, but I didn't even even show you guys their traits yet. These are their traits. So she is unflirty don't mind the third one (laughs) one of these are most likely going to disappear because anyways there's there's a reason i had to age her up to an adult then age her back down to the teenager anyways all is good now so uh one of the traits are gonna disappear most likely or they're or she's gonna keep them i don't even know but um so right now she is unflirty and that is because she doesn't believe in love anymore she doesn't believe that she can be happy through love because these sins are tense and romantic people you know it just disgusts her because like i said her mom's relationship with her boyfriend how toxic that was and she said all the time that her mom 
our mom told the guy that was abusing her all the time that she loved him and she doesn't she just doesn't believe in love anymore she just comes to the fact that love cannot bring happiness so she is an unflirty sim she's also self-assured because she like i said before she's she knows her worth she knows what should be handed to her and what she should be treated like and she's not gonna accept anything less and if you don't like that she's ready to, she's ready to throw fish she's ready to knock you out if she has to She's ready to go. And then music, she is also a music lover because all of that anger, as you guys said before, and all of that hatred, it all went into her music. That was her escape, as you can say, out of wherever she was placed. If she needed a place to go to just think, she would play music. She would play on her guitar. And actually, by the age of when she just moved into the orphanage, she had enough money and she went to a rental, not a rental shop, but an old old guitar shop and was able to buy her first instrument which is a guitar which she loves to death and back and she was able to take that before she ran so that's where they're at right now and that's why her trait traits are the way they are because it represents her i love making tra i love picking traits that represent their backstory and then for kai over here kai is let's see he is um a cheerful person he's a very cheerful dude um even though he doesn't he got the short end of the stick growing up he's still happy with the way he is he still is he is a very loving kid even though he has pretty much been bullied all of his life well not all of his life since he got to the orphanage which sucks and the reason why he actually dyed his hair was because i don't know he got to the when he came into the orphanage he had brown hair but then one day he didn't like it so he uh him and some older kids actually bleach their hair all together and he wanted blue streaks in it because his favorite color is blue and so this is how it happened literally it just it was just something happened she just he doesn't want to dye his hair <laughs> and so that's what he did so that's pretty much that um so that's pretty much their backstory that's pretty much how they got here that's pretty much their situation and now the rule part um of course y'all know the rules some rules that i'll be breaking for sure is that they will have no money they will, will normally have six thousand dollars to start off with they're gonna have nothing they're flat out broke because they just ran away they pretty much don't have any money to live off of right now so they're gonna have to scramble 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 <laughs> You're gonna have to find means to make money, uh, which I'm very excited to do. Another rule that was meant or was stated that they had to live in Oasis Springs, of course, we're in Willow Creek. <laughs> That's already been broken. Um, another rule that I broke was that she cannot go to high school. I'm gonna let her go to high school, but they have to have a house and they have to be living okay first like they have to have a house and they have to be have like a decent amount of money before she can start going back to school i really want her to go to school i really want her to get education i think that would really add some like emphasis to the story because i think she would love to be like get a good job and to actually have a family one day maybe who knows right now she's not even thinking about a family right now she's just thinking like of course she wants one but she's just not ready for one she doesn't believe in a happy family but she, like her dream is to always have one. She's always wanted to have a happy family. Like, she's that was taken away from her. Her dream was to always have a happy family, but she doesn't know right now. She doesn't believe in that it could happen, but it is her dream. And so um, that's what we're talking about again. So that was her inspiration, I think that's i don't know i don't remember i don't even remember how i got to that conversation i'm sorry guys like i lose track of everything real quick so that's pretty much that and let's say with him i think that's it actually that i have to talk about for this part at least this is just the introduction um it's oh yeah the rules that's what i'm talking about the rules so that's why i wanted her to go to school you see guys it just takes it just takes a little second you know pop up in my head so yeah that's the rule so she will be going to school going back to school but only when only when she's when they're doing good in their career or not career but at well in their situation their living situation she'll go back to school so anyways guys i think that is it i told you guys told you pretty much their backstory about them you guys know about their traits um you know what they look like <laughs> you know the backstories you know the rules that i'll be breaking the rules that need to be followed if you guys don't know what the rules are like i said there's a link down below and yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed this 
I'm opening. I hope you all are excited for the first part. Don't know when it would be up, but it, hopefully it should be up at least two to three days before after I upload this one. So guys, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all are excited for this LP. Leave your comments down below on what you think is going to happen with these two. What should happen? Um, let me. I would love to actually know. I want to. I want you. Want, I want you guys to give me like if you guys feel like to like give me some like theories on what you think kai's backstory is i'm actually very curious so i wonder like tell me guys what do you guys think his backstory is how he got here how he got to the orphanage why he was left at the park one day that, that day he was left at the park why he was there if y'all want to like tell me guys your ideas about that i would love to hear it so leave all your comments down uh leave all your comments down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one as always as always peace y'all thank y'all for watching love y'all and i'll catch you guys later deuces